Right guys, you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a lot of fun with a knife. This is <laughs> this is about as cheap as you can get. And I bought it because it's a button lock. Because I want to strip it down and, and mess with the button. And uh, great fun. I've been sat in front of the TV for three nights <laughs> solid messing with this thing. It's got a real lazy flipper. Easy to fail, you know, if you... If you're treating it like an ordinary flipper, it's easy to fail. But once you get the get it down, a little flick of the wrist, it's great fun. Droppy shut on ball bearings. It's a lot of fun. You can if you depress the button, you flick it open, drop it shut, flick it open, <laughs> and it. It's such a fidget friendly knife. It's a three inch blade, it's four and a half inches closed and seven and a half inches overall. It's a, it's pretty good fun. It's a what I call butter steel. <laughs> it's 3CR13, the blade, stainless blade, and it's got a night coating on it to help prevent scratches but I mean it's soft steel I didn't buy it for for using but um, let's, let's see if it's sharp I've, I've never even tried to see if it's sharp yet all right it comes sharp you can sharpen up this cheap steel pretty good it's just they don't they don't hold their edge for for very long that's the that's a whole benefit of buying better steels for a for a knife that you actually use. But I didn't buy this for using, but you could, you know. And it's knives like this are what I class as fun knives. It's a fun knife. And if if you are a collector and you haven't got much money yet, but you've got the itch to get something, um something like this can can help you scratch that itch. Because this thing was $13.82 delivered to your door. <laughs> and it's so much fun, really. really is. Uh, they come in green or they come in like a grey-blue. For some reason, the grey-blue is $2 more. But um, for under 14 bucks, see what I mean about that lazy flip? little flick of the wrist and you get you get it down it's a it's a um sit in front of the tv mess about look at it, it runs nice nice and smooth but like i say i got it to mess about with the button lock that's the box that comes in mtech usa ball bearing pivot system mt 1034gn is the model number and yeah made in china of course Though MTEC is a USA company, the knives are made in China. And there you go. And it's actually, I mean, that flipper and the choil cut out here, it's a damn comfortable knife to hold in your hand. It really is. It's got this cut out here where you can place your thumb, and it's pretty wide. It's aluminum scales, stainless liners, barrel spaces there open design there's no uh, lightning holes or anything in there but uh, what does it weigh we'll weigh it quick 4.5 ounces so 4.5 ounces I mean <laughs> all I can say is for the money it's a whole lot of fun it has a weird lanyard hole here which is totally pointless because when you shut it <laughs> you've got the blade there see the blade point there <laughs> but it's 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 fun it's a fun knife for not much money all right catch you later guys